show of strength and stamina. Tonight, this all-American gymnast will go eyeball to eyeball against the superpower of an orangutan in a dead hang competition that will be the ultimate test of will. And with me tonight to provide commentary are two experts in the field, premier animal behaviorist Sid Yost and America's most decorated male gymnast, Olympic gold medal winner, Bart Connor. How you doing, guys? All right. Great. All right, Sid, what should we look for tonight? The orangutan has tremendous upper body strength and a torso that allows them to stretch their arms longer than the length of their body. In some cases, seven feet from fingertip to fingertip. Orangutans also have long, narrow hands that are ideal for gripping vines and branches for extended periods of time. In the end, that could be the difference. Well, Bart, that sounds impressive. Well, it certainly does, but man possesses something that the beast doesn't. That's heart and soul. And the man tonight has both, big time. Marshall Irwin is a champion. He's been up against the best man has to offer, and he won't be intimidated by the beast. As an all-American gymnast at Stanford, Marshall is used to being center stage. And in this type of event, I think that's an incredible advantage. Believe me, I feel that Marshall will get in a zone, and his focus will beat the beast. This is how the dead hang will work. Both man and beast will be hanging from identical bars 11 feet off the ground. The competitors are allowed to alternate hands, but one hand must remain on the bar at all times. The winner is the last one hanging. And by the way, this is a feet-free competition. Our competitors are engaging in some last-minute stretching and flexing, so let's go to the tail of the tape. Champion gymnast Marshall Irwin has a big advantage in both height and weight. Marshall is 23 years old, while the Beast is five years old, or about 10 in human years. Marshall's hand size measures seven inches, and although Bam Bam is much smaller in stature, his hands are actually bigger. Both man and Beast are making their entrances. He's being assisted by John McCready, who was a member of the U.S. Olympic team in 1996 in the Atlanta Games. That orangutan looks ready to hang. Yeah, the orangutan's taking this dead serious right now. This is the first time I've seen him take this competition seriously. Look, Look at him eyeball. This is a formidable opponent for sure. To protect Marshall, we've placed electrically charged wires between man and beast should Bam Bam lose control. All right, gentlemen, lift up the competitors. There you go. All right, and three, two, one, the battle of the bar is on. Bam Bam is very serious right now. You can see he's looking, swinging back and forth, taunting the gymnast. Definitely taunting him. The orangutan doesn't seem like he's stressing at all. He seems very relaxed. He's eating, he's scratching. No problem. Bam Bam isn't even flinching. Oh, that's a solid grip. Looks like he could go all day. What's interesting for Marshall is that a typical gymnastic routine on the still ring, where he's the national champion, only lasts about 35 seconds. And most of the time, he's actually supporting himself above the rings rather than hanging below them. So this is a, a completely different type of test for Marshall. Uh-oh. We're coming up at two minutes, and the orangutan is just going actually for it. swinging back and forth. Now, this takes some guts. Now, I don't know if... If Marshall is trying to get the orangutan to lose his grip. I think Bam Bam's actually trying to get Marshall to lose his focus. And uh, here he's kind of taunting him with some of his acrobatics. And I think if Marshall doesn't stay focused, the orangutan will absolutely win this event. I think the important thing to notice right now is uh, Bam Bam does have a little bit of difficulty and that he's losing his shorts. Marshall said before the competition that for him, it really was about stamina and endurance and if he could stay focused. And he was hoping that at some point, perhaps Bam Bam just lost interest, got bored and just came down. Marshall has got to be feeling this part. He said it's very important to shake it out because your forearms kind of get blown out. See, Bam Bam is spraying a leak right now, and that could be a small problem. Now, see, now, he's obviously, Bam Bam has decided to lose a little bit of water weight, but that could be just to distract Marshall. And it has, because Marshall's smiling. And you know how that, that is an illegal move. I don't, he's got one hand still on the bar. It's over. It is over. Bam Bam. 
He tried everything in the orangutan book. Our man, Marshall Irwin, is still hanging. He's very strong, obviously, on the rings and doing the iron cross. Oh, he's down! He is down. Time! Excellent hang. All right, Marshall has just dropped, and I'm going to wait for the official time. And here it is. He was hanging an amazing six minutes and 38 seconds. Sid is down right now with Bam Bam's trainer. Tom, tough loss tonight. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about the strategies and where that broke off? Well, I just gave him a little peppermint candy just to keep him occupied and give him something else to think about besides touching the sides, but my strategy broke down and it didn't work. He touched the sides anyway. You know, Tom, he did his very best. You can still see him hanging there, and uh, congratulations. We'll get him next time. Bart Connors with the winner. First of all, how do you feel? I'm, I'm hurting pretty bad. My, my forearms are... Uh, 